If online speculation is to be believed, Samsung could be planning an early launch for the Galaxy Note 9, shunning its traditional IFA unveiling in August. That's good news for fans of big-screened mopes, as the Note 9 is expected to pack a sizable 6.38 inches display, bigger than the Note 8's 6.32 inches offering. It could also be the first Sammy flagship to tout an in-screen fingerprint scanner, according to some reports, while others have claimed that the technology won't be ready for the handset's rumored July unveiling, we've rounded up everything. We know about Samsung's so-called Galaxy Note 9 so far below, release data last year's Galaxy Note 8 made its official debut on the 23rd of August, and it wouldn't be surprising if the Galaxy Note 9 followed a similar schedule. However, the investor has reported, below, that Samsung's upcoming big-screen flagship could launch in July this year, both in a bid to make up for the less than stellar performance of the Galaxy S9 and to beat Apple's iPhone X2 to market price. There's no word yet as to how much Samsung's Galaxy Note 9 will cost when it goes on sale. However, if anything like its predecessor, expect pricing to start at £869 SIM-free. Latest news The 18th of May 29, Samsung will equip at least one variation of the Galaxy Note 9, with a hefty 8GB RAM and 512GB internal storage, according to Twitter tipster Ice Universe, trumping the Galaxy S9 Plus that tops out at 6GB RAM and 256GB storage. However, the source notes that certain markets may see that configuration if they're lucky, suggesting that the specs aren't yet set in stone. The 18th of May 18, Samsung has confirmed that its next flagship smartphone will feature an upgraded version of its AI platform, Bixby 2.0. Lei Ji Lee, head of the AI center under Samsung Research, told the Korea Herald that the firm's upcoming flagship, no doubt the Galaxy Note 9 will be the first to feature Bixby 2.0, which will offer enhanced natural language processes, improved noise resistance capability, and quicker response times. Samsung's AI vision has five directions, user-centric, always learning, always there, always helpful and always safe, Lee said. The 18th of May 17, Samsung's Galaxy Note 9 will likely debut in late July before it goes on sale in August, according to the Korea Herald. Seeing local part suppliers, the report claims that Samsung began mass production of the smartphone's 6.38 inches display in April, two months earlier than usual. While it's unclear why the launch has been pushed forward, sources told the newspaper that it could be because Samsung's Galaxy S9 series phones are selling much poorer than expected. However, others have claimed the firm is looking to beat Apple's next-generation iPhones to market, with the so-called iPhone X2 lineup set to be unveiled in September. The report goes on to corroborate earlier rumors that Samsung's Galaxy S10 will be unveiled at CES in January, with the firm's first foldable smartphone, the so-called Galaxy X, to make its debut at MWC the following month, the 5th of November 18, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 isn't expected. The handset, which has the model number some N960U, is almost certainly the Galaxy Note 9, as last year's Note 8 featured the model number some N950U. The Geekbench listing reveals that, as expected, the Note 9 will feature a Snapdragon 845 processor paired with 7GB RAM. It also confirms that the handset will ship running Google's Android 8.1 Oreo OS. As far as benchmark results go, the supposed Galaxy Note 9 earned a single core score of 2,411 and a multi-core score of 8,712. The 5th of October 18, a newly surfaced leaked render of the Galaxy Note 9, above, courtesy once again of Twitter tipster Ice Universe, suggests that the handset will offer a few design changes compared to its Note 8 predecessor. Although it appears to sport slightly slimmer bezels than before, the Note 9 render appears to debunk earlier speculation that the handset will feature an under-display fingerprint scanner, while the supposedly new S Pen stylus looks identical to that which shipped with last year's Note 8. Samsung was lazy in 2018 and I concluded that Note 9 will not change much. 
This is just a small adjustment to Note 8, Ice Universe Notes. The 5th of September 18, Reliable Tipster Ice Universe, via, slash gear, has detailed 7 key features that likely will be coming to Samsung's Note 9, including a souped-up camera, a heftier 3,850mAh battery, a new S Pen stylus and an underscreen fingerprint sensor, despite recent speculation that next year's Galaxy S10 would be the first Samsung smartphone to come equipped with this feature. He also claims that an upgraded version of Bixby will debut on the Note 9 in the form of Bixby 2.0, alongside a new version of Samsung's custom Android UI dubbed, Crown UX. Finally, Ice Universe claims that the Galaxy Note 9 will be available in a new, teddy brown, color option, because, er, who doesn't want a brown-colored smartphone, the 18th of April 30, the Samsung Galaxy Note. 9 has reportedly been certified China Ministry of Industry and Information Technology CMIIT, adding further weight to the rumors that the upcoming flagship will make an early appearance this year. The certification doesn't confirm much but does reveal two variants of the phone some N9600 and some N9608 no doubt a sign that one will pack a Samsung Exynos chip, and the other a Qualcomm Snapdragon. Processor, the 4th of November 18, according to the latest online murmurs, courtesy of Twitter tipster Ice Universe, the Galaxy Note 9 will come with a 6.4 inches screen, bigger than the 6.32 inches screen found on last year's flagship phablet. This sized up screen will provide extra space for a beefier battery too, with Samsung set to stuff the Galaxy Note 9 with a 4000 mAh battery. Given that the Note 8, with its 3,330 mAh battery, was able to breeze through an entire day of usage, the Note 9 could offer users two days of battery life. The 4th of June 18, Samsung is planning to launch the Galaxy Note 9 earlier than usual in a bid to outshine Apple's iPhone X2. So says a report out of Korea, which claims that the Note 9 will be released in July or August, with Samsung Display set to start producing the handset's OLED panel this month, two months earlier than usual, as well as looking to beat Apple's next-generation iPhones to market. This early launch comes as Samsung looks to make up for the less-than-stellar performance of the S9. The investor's report also backs up earlier rumors that the Note 9 screen will measure in at 6.38 inches bigger than the Note 8's the 6.32 inches display, and notes that the handset won't be Samsung's first smartphone to feature a screen-embedded fingerprint sensor, the 18th of March 23, newer told the Korea Herald that Samsung Display has prepared three of four solutions for Samsung Electronics to embed a fingerprint sensor inside the Note 9's display, adding that the firm is seriously considering one of the solutions. The delay in deciding on the final concept for the Note 9 is due to the work in adopting the in-display fingerprint sensor, the source added. A final decision on adoption of the technology will be made by this month. Separately, Sam Mobile has hinted that the Galaxy Note 9 could launch sooner than expected, having received confirmation that Samsung has commenced development of the smartphone software and has started testing two builds, N960FXXEOARB7 and N960FXXEOARC5. The 3rd of September 18, respected analyst Ming Kai Kuo has debunked speculation that the Galaxy Note 9 will feature a screen-embedded fingerprint scanner. Adding weight to reports out of Korea last month, Kuo has said, via 9 to 5 Google, that Samsung won't have in-screen fingerprint tech ready for the Galaxy Note 9 because of technical difficulties. He says the feature currently suffers from issues with screen protectors and various different environments affecting the success rate of the under-display fingerprint reader. This is a U-turn from Kuo, who released a report last August stating that while he expected the Galaxy S9 and S9 to ship a traditional fingerprint sensor, Samsung likely would incorporate the in-display option into the Note 9. The 18th of February 14, the Galaxy Note 9 won't be the first Samsung smartphone to pack an in-screen fingerprint scanner, according to reports. 
patents revealed earlier this week confirmed that Samsung is developing in screen, or optical, fingerprint scanner, as we already know that the Galaxy S9 will feature a standard scanner on its rear, many speculated that the Note 9 would be the first to feature the optical reader, however, according to sources with knowledge of the supply chain. So says Korean news outlet The Bell, via The Investor, which claims that Samsung could start manufacturing the smartphone, codenamed Crown, in just two months' time, an official from a smartphone parts supplier allegedly told the newspaper, we will start providing components for a pilot production of the Galaxy Note 9, in the first quarter next year. The Bell doesn't have much else to say on the matter but does speculate as to what the Crown codename alludes to. It expects it to be a sign of Samsung's goal of tightening its grip on the large-sized smartphone sector, rather than a hint that it'll come with pointy corners and be exclusive to Netflix. This year's Galaxy Note 8 was codenamed by Call after one of Russia's biggest lakes, hinting at the smartphone's large 6.3 inches display, apparently. Report notes that while a pilot production run is likely to take place early next year, the Galaxy Note 9 likely will make its official debut in early to mid-August next year. Beyond its codename, we don't know much about what Samsung's next big-screened flagship has in store. However, Samsung itself has hinted that the Galaxy Note 9 could be its first foldable smartphone. Dajin Ko, president of Samsung's mobile business, told reporters earlier this year that the company hopes to release its first flexible smartphone next year under its flagship Galaxy Note line. However, Ko warned that there are still hurdles to overcome and release would be pushed back if they're not resolved. Speculation also claims that the Note 9 could feature a screen-embedded fingerprint sensor, while others claim that Samsung is gearing up to ditch the scanner in favor of an iPhone XS face recognition system. There is also talk that the Galaxy Note 8, like the upcoming Galaxy S9, will pack Qualcomm's as yet unannounced Snapdragon 845 processor under the hood. Micro